Bailey Half Acre Homestead. Finally, another video. I know some of you have been wondering about us. We've had, I don't know, we just had various excuses if you want to hear them. We've had weather, we've had my camera person working too stinking much. And, too much. <laughs> and uh, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, we're lazy. Did I mention we're lazy? Yeah, I think we have. We, anyway, I don't guess it. I guess the main thing is we're here now, and anyway, everything that you're going to hear about in this video, you already know about if you like the Facebook page. But the pictures on the Facebook page, these guys were a little bit smaller. This is Gracie. She is daughter of Rumbun's Nebo. And Rumbun's Hoxie. She came to us from Grace Hollow Rabbitry. She, this is her first litter. Gracie has done it. Here, calm down, little, calm down, little fella. Gracie has done an excellent job. She gave birth to a litter of four. Raised every single one of them. Look at these little guys. So pretty. And these guys are and gals are somewhere around. 10, 12, 14 days old, something like that. Uh, this is the first time you're seeing them on video, though. We just couldn't, we couldn't get to it. When these guys were born, we were actually having temperatures in the low 40s, and it was a couple of days before we even pulled them out of the nest to even see how many we had. But it started to warm up into the 60s that next day, and we thought, well, we've got to get in there and do it because if there's, if there happened to be any, it didn't make it. That can be an awful mess in the nest that can actually affect the other babies and it, it, it make them all sick and cause them to die. But we didn't have any little problems like that. She had four, and they're all getting their eyes open. Sure are, just cute little rascals, energetic. You can tell they've been eating good. Look at these bellies. See that belly? <laughs> but yeah, they're doing just fine. Four or four of them. Got to pull, got to pull them out of a warm bed. They're sleeping. They're just so curled up and warm. <laughs> they're sleeping. But yep, there they are. Um, we'll go ahead and give you a couple of updates in this video. Uh, just within the last day or two, uh, Northern Ohio's Gemma has gone to a new home. She left. She too was bred and I believe had a belly full of babies. Uh, she is now residing in this right, Horn Lake, Mississippi. Uh, met Gavin down there and passed, passed a couple of bunnies off to him. He, he's, he's got Gemma now. We've received a picture of her in her new home, and she is doing just great. Uh, happy. Uh, a lot of you ask, why are you selling your rabbit? Well, you know, uh, we had about nine brood does here all together. And we sold Lucky. Well, first we sold Cheyenne. We sold Lucky. Now we sold Gemma. That leaves us with, on the reds, that leaves us with one, two, three, four... Five, I think I, oh no, Annabelle, six. Yes, I'm missing somebody. Okay, yeah, that, I, was, I forgot Annie. She's around there. Uh, and now we're down to six reds. Now we've also, we've still got, and we've got three red bucks. We've got Hugh Hefner, we've got Ace, and we've got Sorrel. Okay, if you missed it, at the Arkansas State Fair, Romeo went to a new home, as did Lucky the, the Doe. Lucky now has a beautiful litter of six babies, uh, and she is doing an excellent job mothering for her new for her new owner. And he is on the road to having a nice liner. Uh, Red New Zealand's there, he sure is. Uh, so, so got him set up, and Romeo and Lucky are in, in good hands, being well taken care of. And now Gemma and. This guy didn't have a name, but he was one of the two bucks that we had left out of 
Grubbs and Annabelle. He was a solid red. He was a little light in color, but uh, definitely, definitely uh, passable. You know, it, it, he wasn't extremely light. Uh, and so from that round of bunnies, what we kept for ourselves was Hugh Hefner. We've got him, and we've got a sister to the buck we just sold yesterday out of Grubbs and Annabelle, and we've named her Lexa, and she too, I believe, is possibly expecting her first litter coming up in a few weeks. Uh, uh, let's see, on the New Zealand front, I guess that's pretty much, at this point at least, that's all the updates we have. <laughs> he hopped out of the nest box. Mm -hmm. He hopped out of the nest box. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm coming to get you, Mom. But yeah, Mama's doing an excellent job. She didn't have quite as many as I expected. She was a lot bigger. I thought she was going to have more. But you know what? Around here, you know, these, we're looking for show bunnies. Uh, you know, something to show. Uh, quality. Quality is definitely more important than quantity because, you know, we can't keep we can't, we can't keep everything we produce anyway, you know, uh, and that's where, you know, other people that would like to have this breed of, or this variety of rabbits, that's where they benefit, you know, we can pass those along to somebody else. Look at you, look at you. You're like, you woke me up, might as well get out of bed now. Yeah, <laughs> you could have at least brought me coffee, scrambled eggs or something. <laughs> anyway, yeah, they are. These guys all crawl back in the nest. He's looking to get back in his warm spot. That'll do the huddle up next to mom. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I can't blame him for that. He'll probably keep it warm. Now, he's going to, yeah, you know what he's going to do. He's going to try to slide underneath. He's like, give me some food, mom. <laughs> That's, I mentioned breakfast, and I told him mom that he went. But, uh, uh, Sally, Mustang Sally, still had no babies out of her. Uh, you know what? I am just getting to the point where as much as I would like to have babies out of her, you know, I've got those like this and like Annabelle and others that are doing excellent being mamas. And Annabelle, she hardly ever misses a lick. I mean, the only time, the only real problem we've had with her had to do with a raccoon. It wasn't yeah. her fault. Uh, you know, she's raised, she's raising at least six every time. Mar uh, Gracie's having no problems with four. Marcy, Marcy doesn't have any problems. I think she's got babies coming in the next day or two, hopefully. Uh, she doesn't have any problems raising a good litter. So, why should Sally, the, what I'm saying is, is, you know, she's had every chance in the world, and I'm, I'm just to the point where I'm asking myself, why does Sally get the right to continue to preload? You know, every other rabbit here, works for their for their upkeep you know uh, they 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 sing for their supper so to speak you know uh, everything here pulls its weight I mean the chickens chickens lay eggs the roosters they take care of the hens and they make it so we can hatch eggs if we want to uh, junior he guards you know all the rabbits they either they, they're either mamas that produce babies or they're bucks that produce babies. And if they don't produce, they got to go. And Sally has, so I'm really kind of to that point. Sally has really, really disappointed me. You know, she had the one litter, but she really hasn't done anything since. And it didn't live. You know, it got to about 12 weeks of age and they all got their bloat and died. Well, then she had a litter after that and they didn't even live to be a month old. Uh, so I don't know what's going on with that, but it's just not something that can, can, can continue. I've got to, we're just going to have to make some tough decisions regarding her. I mean, I like Sally okay. And she seemed to be, when she had her act together, she seemed to be a great mama. But, you know, we could take, we can take and breed Witter. It might take a couple of generations, but we can take and breed, breed Witter to a couple of these reds and end up getting whites if that's what we really wanted. But we can find we can find a, a white rabbit somewhere, surely. Uh, almost every time we go to a show, we we come home with something extra to add to our to our herd. But 
Except for the state fair. Well, we did bring something from the state mm -hmm. fair. But you know what? That's not even on the Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm so excited. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Bianca. Bianca and Elizabeth. Marcy. Are all expected babies. Annabelle is rebred. She still got her litter with her, but we're getting ready to wean those. We had a little mishap trying to get some needles shipped in for our tattoo uh, apparatus so we could get some guys weaned and tattooed and everything. And we're still waiting on those. So, but that's been corrected. Yep, it's been corrected. He and sent it this morning. Hopefully, within a few days, hopefully, maybe by Monday or something, we'll have that. And let's see what else. Who's due this weekend? We said. I think Mar didn't you say? I think Marcy's the only one. Marcy and Sarah. That's well. She's a she's a mini rex. We wasn't really Sarah. talking about mini rex in this video, but Sarah, our little caster doe that we kept out of Carmel and Morgan, she is pregnant and due this Saturday. Saturday in a couple of days. Yeah. Marcy's due in a couple of days, and then the day after that. If ever, assuming everybody's pregnant, and I don't know for certain that everybody's pregnant, I just know that for sure that Sarah is. But uh, Elizabeth is also due on the 12th, which is be the day after that. So we've got uh, this coming up weekend. This is what, Thursday? Thursday? Thursday. Okay, so this coming up weekend, we've got three new litters hopefully coming. Maybe we will be able to post, give you an update on that pretty soon if you want early information you know you can get it usually on our facebook page we usually post something on there you know two three four five times a week sometimes multiple times a day to, just depending on what's happening if we've got several does due as each one delivers and we determine what they have and when and it, we, we kind of give an update on that so but anyway, we're going to go ahead and cut this video off. It's been, I don't know, about a week, I guess, since we brought you anything. We're going to go ahead and cut it off and get this uploaded to you. So, I guess that's all we got for now. Okay, we'll, we've got some more videos coming, though. Keep an eye, keep an eye out for those. Folks, y'all have a great day. God bless.